Hi. Hi. May you please help me with this question? My name is Quentin. Question says, it says to us here, prove the identity. Aha. Prove the identity. Sign 4A equals 4 sine A cos A minus 8 sine cubed A cos of A. Right. Now, we need to prove that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side or the right-hand side is equal to the left-hand side. That's how you actually prove the identity. Now, guys, it's very important for you to understand this. When you are dealing with identities, right, you get two sides that are given there. So you cannot be transposing things from left to right. You understand what I'm saying? You can't both, I mean, divide on both sides to try and simplify your expressions. You take the left-hand side as it is, you try and simplify it until it looks like the right-hand side. Alternatively, you take the right-hand side, you simplify that until it looks like the left-hand side. But that is not always the case, guys. Not always the case that you will take one side, simplify it until it looks like the other, or you'll take the other side, simplify it until it looks like the other side. Sometimes you get stuck somewhere. It happens. So I want you to understand this. When you are dealing with identities, take one side. Simplify, simplify. If you get stuck, stop there. Go fetch the other side. Go fetch the right hand side. Simplify it until it looks like something else. If these two parts that you have at the end look the same, you have also proven that the identity is true. So please keep that in mind. But generally speaking, we need to always start with a site that has got information that we can do something about. Excellent stuff. Right. Now, let's go back to the question. So I'm going to start with the left hand side. Right. I'm going to take what is on the left hand side. I'm going to say, okay. The left-hand side in this particular identity is given to us by the sign of 4a, right? This is what we have. Now, what are the tools of trig that we have that we can use, guys? The tools. This is the toolbox. I'm going to put the tools here of trig that we can actually work with. First of all, in grade 11, you were taught the squares identity, right? Sign so squared uh, something plus cos uh, squared something can be written as 1. The other one you were taught is that sine of something divided by the cos of the same angle can be expressed as the tangent of that very same angle. In addition to that, there's other things that you were told in grade 12 particularly. And these are your double angles and your compound angles. So those are going to be very crucial in this question because already I see a 4 there. In the back of my mind, I'm thinking 4 is double of something. So I'm going to think about it in the context of double angle. So you must know how to expand sine 2a, right? Which is simply going to become um, 2 sine of a, right? Multiplied by the cosine of a. In addition, there's also the double angle of cos 2a, which has got three versions. There are three ways we can actually expand the double angle of cosine. So we have to know all these expansions and decide which one do we choose based on the question that you are dealing with. So now I see that there's actually a sine 4a on the left hand side. I'm going to say, okay, cool. This is as good as the sine of two times 2a. Right. This is where I want to start my argument as I'm trying to simplify this very awesome question that you guys sent to us. Now, if I simplify further, I'm going to use the double angle, the double angle identity of uh, sine. There it is. Sine 2a can be written as 2 sine a cos of a. But my a in this, in this case is actually 2 times of a. So it will simply be the left hand side equals 2 sine of this that you have in brackets, which is 2a multiplied by the cos of what you have in brackets, which is also 2a. Right, so that's actually what I have. Once more, there's another double angle, double angle of 2a. I'm going to expand it further. Let's see what will happen. I'm going to have two times. Now I'm going to expand this, this one. Guys. This one that you're currently looking at now. It's also going to be 2 sine of a multiplied by the cosine of a, but we still have our cos of 2a lying next to our y expression so far. Right. Now, once we have done this, right, once we have done this, 2 times 2 gives us what? It gives us 4. And then you're going to have 4 sine of A, cos of A, multiplied by cos of 2 times A. This is basically what we have so far. Now, when you are dealing with the double angle of cos, it's very tricky, guys. You must not rush. You relax and you ask yourself, which of the three must I choose? You, of course, have to pay attention to what you're trying to prove. So I'm going to try and go back and see, of the things that I'm trying to prove, which one looks more suitable to pick in the three versions of the double angle of cosine? Then we'll be able to know what it has to be. If I pick the wrong one, it's not the end of the world. I can just remove that, 
return back and choose the other one and see where it actually takes me. If it's not working, definitely the third one is going to be the one that you guys have to work with. Awesome stuff. Now, let's go back at the top and check what we are trying to prove here. We are trying to prove that the left-hand side is basically equal to 4 sine A cos A minus 8 sine cubed of A. Now, I see that there's a sine there. There's your sine cubed there. There's sine cubed A multiplied by cos A. So the, the version that I'm thinking about at the top of my head has to be the one that has to do with sines because I want to achieve sine cubed eventually when I'm doing my multiplication. All right, cool. So now let's see what will happen if we simplify this further. 4 is a number. I'm going to write that. I've got sine of A, which I'm going to put here. We've got the cosine of A. Now, the double angle of cos 2A, right, the double angle of cos 2A. There are three versions. I'm going to choose the one that says 1 minus 2 sine squared A, which is the same as a double angle of sine 2A. Why am I choosing this one? Well, this is because of the fact that I'm trying to achieve sine cubed A at some point. And you can see, there's sine A. When you multiply this sine A with that sine squared, you will eventually get that sine cubed A that we are looking at in what we are trying to prove. So now let's do multiplication, guys. Let's multiply. This guy multiplied inside that distribution law. What do you end up with? Well, 4 sine A cos A times 1 is going to return the same thing. 4 sine of A cos sine of A, right? Minus. Then you do 4 sine A cos A multiplied by negative 2 sine squared. So 4 by 2 will just give us 8. Sine A times sine squared A will give us sine cubed A with that cos A dragging there. Um, I mean, as part of what we are actually multiplying with there, it actually gives me 4 sine A cos A minus 8 sine cubed A cos A, which is exactly what we had to prove. Therefore, the left hand side is just equal to the right hand side. And then we have successfully managed to prove what we were asked to prove. So I hope, Quentin, you can see what you really had to do. The take home from this question is number one, when you see something that is almost double, think double angles. Number two, if you are dealing with a double angle of cosine, don't rush, relax. And think about which of the three versions is going to work out. If you pick a particular version, it's possible that you might be wrong. And it's not working out, it's not the end of the world. Just relax and then ask yourself, if this one is not working, which one could be the best one to choose? And then you'll be able to get your answer. Thank you very much for sending through that question, guys. Remember, you can also send us questions. We want you to send questions so that we can help you. This is Tenfold Life, your favorite content coverage show where we are giving you nothing but quality content. So do make sure you watch and also send questions so that we can help you. We're still coming back with a lot of very exciting content, guys. We are nailing trigonometry today. We want you to understand what you have to do when you are dealing with uh, trigonometry. So make sure you're watching. If people are not watching, go to your socials. Let them know that we are up and running. They should also join in.